Hello, welcome back to another episode of To the Pram with Great Yarmouth. When we left, we've gone on a ten. When you when we left, we were on a ten game beat, uh, unbeaten run. We've moved to second in the table, which is a great achievement for us, and we are kicking on very well with the league. We are in December. We're coming to the tail end. There is going to be a week break, so we will fast forward through that. And I think it's after this game here at Brantham. However, we've we've beaten a team who were ahead of us in the league uh, 1-0 and we all um, progress uh, they've put them down to 5th in the league so that's great for us and um, yeah I'm hoping for a more successful uh, second half of this campaign 10 games unbeaten is going to come to an end at some point um, so we've got, we don't want to be too disappointed when that happens but however for this time being we're going to keep this run going um, and hopefully keep <laughs> keep winning um, Felix though obviously haven't lost yet this this campaign. Hopefully they will when they come to us or when we go to them. Sorry, um, I need to buy a midfielder as well. So we'll look at that now. Again, we'll look for an experienced midfielder. Again, this is just for backup purposes. But yes, it's been a, a eventful season so far. We're in almost at the midpoint, or kind of December is the midpoint, isn't it, of the season when we kind of reflect at how well we're doing. And obviously to lie second, that's not too bad. So let's go quickly to scouting, head to midfield, and look at that. Harley Kelly, who's 23 years of age, has been recommended to us. Hasn't has played hasn't played in this league in a league where he's a defensive midfielder as well. Um, so I'm happy to have a look at Harley Kelly. He is a very much defensive midfielder from play central midfield. So let's get him involved. Let's see how he gets in. And uh, <coughs> you, may, you never know, he might be an invaluable experience for us. Who knows? But Harley Kelly is someone we'll look at. Coming up against Brantham, who are seventh in the league. So that is not going to be an easy game for us. It's going to be a tough game. Um, you know, we're going to have to be realistic there. We'll be lucky if we win that. I mean, we should win that. We've been on great form. We've, you know, we've unbeaten in 10 games. We get a draw. I think I'd be happy with that. But obviously, I'd rather the win. Um, I'll be disappointed if we lose. However, like I say, our win run has got to come to an end at some point. And um, we just need to hope Felix Stowe. Oh, Felix Stowe have dropped points there. Look at that. They have dropped points there. We may have gone third. Because obviously these look like the games in hand. Yeah, Win Waven have gone up, up, up ahead of us. However, that means everyone's now on equal pegging. Look at that, ten points ahead of us now. They've dropped a point there. Waven are uh, three points ahead of us. That's not a problem. That is not a problem at all. So everything's even out. We're all caught up up to date, which is great news. That's what we want to see. Brilliant. So this is where we can try and catch them now. Um, that's fine. He's a three star. He even may he even may play. To be fair. <coughs> um, but let's have a look at what we've got. So Brown's resuming full training. So that's good. Um, apparently everyone's unhappy with the high mountain training. However, I'm not. I think we've got no facilities and training we've got is good. The staff we've got are good. And it shows, I mean, we're third in the league now. Um, we've cemented third in the league there, I think. And they've dropped down to eighth during that. Obviously, shows that, you know, we're doing something right to sit third. We were meted, we were predicted to come second in the league, so we're doing okay for our target. We were to avoid relegation, that was our board's target. So next season, we're really going to have to knuckle down and actually, if we don't get promoted, invest in the squad, i.e. get the players we need and win that league to get promoted so that's kind of the main goals we're looking at at the moment so dearly we'd love to win the league now uh, this season that would be a fantastic achievement for us the board would be happy with that um, I'd be happy with that however realistically with the way Felix Stowe are going we're going to end up second if not we're going to end up in top end of the table at least um, <coughs> yeah oh Zanelli's been suspended that's not a good start, but however, Austin can play there for his second game, shall we say. Um, Kelly, oh, we've got um, Brown back. So Brown will take that position there. 
And do you know what, actually? Let's give Kelly a shot there. Maybe not. Let's give Brown. Let's put Brown back in there. Put Brown back in. But put him. Put Kelly on the bench. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So we got. So there you go. We are filling up quite nicely there. Um, oh, I'm not I'm a bit nervous putting Austin on the pitch. He did have a good game last time around. He got suspended. Um, we'll see how we go. So apparently we're favourites for a reason, that's very true. So let's go out and see how we get on. So we're playing in our famous salmon pink colours. Away from home to Brantham, who are 8th in the league. It's going to be a toughie, no doubt about that. But I'm happy with the squad we've got and I think we can go and do this. So, game's underway. And Phil Wilson has got a damaged shoulder, which I will need to take him off for, because I can't have that. So, Jury's going to come in the pitch, and that does mean, however, Phil Wilson's going to be out for a while if he's got a damaged shoulder. So, hopefully we can get him off. Great save, even though he's got a damaged shoulder. Um, but we've got him off. Made the substitution. Felix Lowe 2 0 up at home. Eighth minute we made that substitution. Oh. And here we go on the attack, hopefully. This does give me a bit of worry now that we're not playing our first choice goalkeeper. We're playing a uh, an un you know a, a dodgy right back that's for sure, and uh, Byron who needs some time to settle in. Although he seems to be settling in, okay, this game. So nil nil half time at the moment. I'm happy with that, and I will take that. Um, the reason being is. We've had to substitute our goalkeeper. Um, I'm happy if we come away with a win here. Um, I'll be happy if we go away with a draw here as well. Um, reason being, this goalkeeper... Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll be happy if we draw. Or, yeah, I'll be very happy with the draw here, I think. So we're fourth in the league now due to other results going around us. Jury now has picked up the ball. Well, now he's picked the ball up, but you know what I meant. Played the ball down. Stuart picks up the ball. Midfield to Brown. It's a great ball to knock. Oh. Oh. That would have been so good if we had gone 1-0 up there. But Blenningfield is a good goalkeeper there by the looks of it. He's managed to hold us out. 87th minute. Not long left of this game here. Great ball upfield. And yeah, there we go. Happy with that 0-0 draw. I'm happy for that. Away from home against a team who are 8th in the league. Definitely happy with that result. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to say we're unlucky there. I'm not unhappy with that performance. I think under the circumstances we should have done well so what we're going to do we're going to give it a pause now uh, while we move on for the week so what we'll do we'll come back after the week's happened um, and in fact what we'll do we'll wait for it to come in we'll have a look at the news items because obviously we're going to have to look at see how long our goalkeeper is out for so it doesn't say he's injured let's just check the squad no he just had a damaged shoulder he's okay to play on so that's Good news there. He'll be back. He's back in for the next game. So our next game is 11 days away. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause it here and we'll come back in 11 days time. So see you in 11 days. Right. Welcome back, guys. And um, yeah, as you can see, we are at match day now. 
Um, we are playing tonight at 19.30 and it's only 8 o'clock at the moment. So we're going to carry on um, getting to that game. And we're playing Clacton today. Clacton, who are fifth in the league, right behind us. So that's going to be great fun. Um, do we have a... No. Uh, what was our previous... We haven't, we haven't played them yet this season. So this must be the last game that we have. And they are sitting right behind us in fifth place by and four points behind us so this is going to be an interesting game to see um we've got let's have a look we've got Zanelli back now so austin is going to make way sorry austin um you're definitely making a way there um so we've got that back so at the moment we're missing just sam hayes and and i'm pretty happy with that lineup we've got there obviously our midfield could be doing with a bit of improvement Callum stewart although has lost a bit of rating um, Jordan Sidhu is still a way off from becoming relevant there. So um, Callum Stewart will come in place. Obviously, if Callum Stewart does drop below Sidhu, I might bring Sidhu back in. Um, but yeah, let's carry on. That's fine. I'm happy with that. He's my backup anyway. And he's new to the game. So teams are warming up. Uh, they can move down seventh, and we can move up to third, leapfrobbing. Um, the team we beat 1 0 previously so, um, in previous games. So we are favourites here, so we just wanted to go out and press me. We are at home as well, so that's good. Home advantage. Got our keeper back, and we are looking good. So let's take this away. <coughs> so team's coming out. Um, looking a bit sparse today on the, uh, the 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 home support today. I think during Christmas, not many people come out. It's cold. It's not really wanting to be in the stand. But however, the other side looks pretty busy. It's pretty good for the bloaters. So first half kicks off ten minutes into the game. Still nil nil. So here we go. 15 minutes into the game and oh off the post and uh, Pinkfield who are ahead of us are losing, that's good and Zanelli penalty taker has put us into third position with that goal, great goal there, 1-0 obviously game's not over yet <coughs> and Kirkley have equalised so half time 1-0 I'm happy with that and I'm happy with the results in the other way Love to see Felix Stowe lose or even draw again because that means they'll be dropping more points, and that's what we want to see. Second half begins now, and Great Yarmouth um, are just doing the, the routine kickoff. I think that's what always happens just the routine kickoff before the game goes into flow. No, 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 we've still got the ball playing it forward. Well, could this be an equaliser right on half time? Maybe not, I don't know. There we go. It was toying with me there. The game was toying with me there. Is this an equaliser on the cards here? It is. What a goal that was. Connor Charman there has got the equaliser and put us down into fourth place. Like I say, it's not over until the fat lady sings. Um, but we can still win this, I think. Might bring off Whitehurst, though, and bring on Atkins to see if we can secure a goal here. It's only five minutes in. Go on, Atkins. Show us what you can do. Should I take Sidhu? Bring Sidhu on. Sidhu scored last time I brought him on. I'm happy with that. <coughs> Here we go, guys. Let's have a look see if Sidhu can make the difference. So 90 minutes into the game. I think this is going to be a 1-1 draw. Home against a team right behind us. I'm happy with that. Although we shouldn't. We shouldn't really drop points there. Felix Stowe had another 3-1 win, and that's put us behind quite a bit now. We are, oh, what, 14 points now behind leaders now. Can't be dropping points like that. That's not good for the economy. 
or the club anyway. So, but they were fifth in the league, so and they still are fifth in the league. So we've maintained our run now, twelve games without a win, uh, without a loss, and we're playing Newmarket now, who are sixth in the league. And I think we'll start to see all these contracts looking to expire, but we'll come to them in a little bit time. So, no previous meeting with Newmarket. That's a lie. We've had a previous meeting. We beat them, didn't we? Let's have a look, see. Oh, no, the previous meeting, sorry, was it ending in a draw. So, <coughs> could this game end up in a draw again? We are the home team, so hopefully we'll, we will uh, provide better opponents this time. It looks like we've got another big break as well, so we may even get the next game in as well during this game. So two breaks, aren't you guys lucky? Here we go. So one unread email. We are favourites to win this. I wouldn't say we're favourites, but hey, hey, what I'm going to do, because he's not been scoring, I'm going to bring up... Do you know what? No, I'm not going to bring on Atkins. I'm going to bring on... Take Sidhu off. No, I'm not going to take Sidhu off. Because you can play midfield. So I'm going to bring on Ford. But I'm actually going to start Ford. How about that? That's going against things there. Look at that. Ford, Ray Ford, who scored seven goals for us this season um, in seven games. So, Ford is going to get some action. And we'll see how we get on with this game. Let's have Arsenal awesome to keep our run going. Moral is still high, but can you can see it's starting to drop a little with a fairly good in there so home again oh bigger better turnout this time at home uh small fans in the stand behind us there braving the cold weather maybe so here we go against newmarket so last time we played them we ended up in a draw Lovely little start there, six minutes in. Could have gone one and up, but still nil nil. I almost took off Sidhu, Sidhu, sorry, and I'm glad I didn't. He comes on now, and we are looking very, very flat in the, the bottom regions. Our defence looks pretty decent, but our front end is not looking the greatest. So we've had two injuries in the game. That's not too great. Um, I'm going to say we can still come out for win if you can concentrate. And I've got faith in you. Love that faith. Oh, now I'm, making, I'm saying you can make the difference. I'm not saying you've got faith. I'm saying you can make the difference. <coughs> so Ford hasn't really done anything this game. I thought I'd bring him on to see if he would do anything. But not really done anything. 66.5 rating. 75 in, I think it's time to make that sub or else it's going to end up 0-0 nil -nil and get a fresh pair of legs on there we go so let's see if he makes a difference with the last 10 minutes bit of pace no, not really not in one minute so there we go, another 0-0 nil -nil draw so now we are starting to draw games so I'm not happy with that although obviously you can see why some people are getting upset like the goalkeeper because he um, kept a clean sheet he did his job but obviously the players up front didn't do their job so that's also Felix Dove also dropped points but the thing is we're dropping points as well so that's not good Pegolo is injured for five to six months, so that looks like Sidhu is going to get more game time. Important games in January, and our next game is ten days away. So, I'm going to just answer these questions. I have to find a way to stand the situation. Apply the advice. Right, I'm going to pause it there, guys, and we'll come back in ten days' time. Okay, guys, so we are here. A um, couple of things I need to add. I did 
bid for a couple of new players and we've got a couple of new players in the squad so we brought this guy in again looking at his stats he's played in Cyprus France and he's played in uh, leagues that are not the uh, so he's got better experience. We've got Michael Malcolm, if everyone remembers the Michael Malcolm player. Played for Wickham, Tottenham, Stockport, and then he's played for Crawley. So he's played for a few teams, and uh, now he's ended up at Great Yarmouth again. Another player with vast experience. Hopefully he can use that. We've also got Wayne Clark as well. He's another player I brought in. Um, 30, I brought him for experience again, looking at it. He's not played any, or he's played Red Hill in the Southern, Com but mainly Ishman Leagues, so he's done pretty well there. So that was the reason why. And Eddie Hutchinson is the other one that I brought in. Again, he's looking pretty good for 34 years of age. He's a midfield centre DM. Again, no experience in this league, so but vast and above so I'm happy to have got these guys in they're hopefully going to help improve the squad and look who our next game is against first place Felix Stowe who I'm hoping we can get one over <laughs> I'm hoping so we are ready for kickoff so this will be the game and then will be the ending of the episode that will be ending of the episode hopefully we're away from home we can get a result and actually give them their first loss of the season that would be great would be fantastic so what i'm going to do because we've got some injuries in that i'm going to clear this line up and actually do the lineup again so phil wilson um we're going to have zay um zane zane ellie we're going to have jackson we're going to have blanket we're going to have brown we're going to put in the midfield we're going to have eddie hutchinson we're going to have Carl Brown, and we're going to put in Tola Odeen. Wingers, because Peggy's out and Jordan's out, I'm actually going to put... I'm going to go for him, see how well he does. And uh, the other side, Craig Stewart. But up front, we're going to start with Michael Malcolm, the legend that is. Now, he doesn't have any proper full capabilities. But I'm going to have him as an advance forward. No, I'm not going to have him as a poacher. See how well he gets on. So, subs. Jewelry. Army. No. Sorry. Artemy. Oh, so look at that. We're packing out the midfield definitely now. Um, Wayne. Uh, no, let's do Su Sidhu. And so look at that we've got some great players now um, filling out the, the the team now so in fact what I may do um, Austin's I think will drop to the under 23's I think I'll drop him to the under 23's so last to the, uh, he'll go to the under 23's as well so the under 23's are starting to get teams Harry Knock, why are you... No, Harry Knock. For Carl Brown, easily. Harry Knock's been influential in that position, hasn't he? So Harry Knock. But I'm going to put Brown on the bench. So, yeah, we've got the spare midfield. We've got a spare AML. We've got two strikers. Two in midfield, actually. So I could probably put one of them down. Um, put Kelly down. Because I haven't played him. Yeah, so there we go. So that's not too bad. So we're getting a couple of players. We've got a couple of positions where we've got some reserves. And uh, yeah, let's see how we do against Phoenix Stowe. I'm hoping we can win. I am really hoping we can win because this will be great to say that we can beat them. They've dropped points recently as well. So who knows? Malcolm, Malcolm. Hoping he'll get a couple of goals, that'll be great. You know, as my new signings normally do. Get some good goals on debuts. Here we go. Mm. 
I'm also um, after this game, depending on how results are, resigning the fact that we probably won't get promoted this season. So we will have to hope for a best finish if possible. That's the only thing with Malcolm. He is a bit slow, but hey ho. Oh. For an ex Tottenham striker, you would have thought he'd scored. There we go. So it's still last to the taking, so I'm happy with the performance. I keep it up. Everyone else is happy. As you can see, the moral is dropping as well. We're going to the okay side of things. So really, a win would be great here. However, not always likely to happen in these games. Four yellow cards <clears throat> and a one nil loss. Oh. One nil. Oh, the post. Well, I'm going to bring on some subs now while I've got the chance. Malcolm, sorry, hasn't done anything really for me, so Malcolm's going to come off. And I'm also going to bring off... You know, those I think he's played well. Sidhu's going to come on. So there we go. Oh. oh, what a finish that would have been to the game. So there we go, full time, nil nil. Another point drop for them, another point gained for us. I'm happy with that. We've gone down to fifth. Realistically, there's no way we're catching them now. There is no way we're catching them. And we've had one more draw and more losses than them. So. I'm happy that the, we know where we are. We're 14 games unbeaten. Realistically, looking at what we've got left, I know we've got to play a lot of the teams again. However, Phoenix, though, just seemed to be the dominant force in the league. No losses. Look at that. Seven draws and 15 wins. Can't see anyone beating that. At the moment, we're going to leave it where we are. Have a great night. Thank you for watching. And like I say, if you haven't already done, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a comment.